Welcome to Larson Farms. I think I'm the first one here. And it's almost nine o'clock. There's somebody here. The big Swedes here. What are we doing? Dealing with FedEx. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you do that yesterday? I've been on hold for 15 minutes every day with these guys. Why do you hang up? Because <laughs> I gotta work. <laughs> Just put your headset on, that's good music. Oh my. And then she's kind enough to come back every once in a while and remind me that I'm still on hold. <laughs> it's almost like Rack City. <laughs> <laughs> good luck. Uh-oh, we've got trouble. Uh-oh, Kibble's here. Forgot about that. Kibble! You better clean all the shit for the poor guy. He's supposed to work on the 790 warranty work. Yeah, where's he going? If I gotta listen to you on hold all day long with that music playing, listen to him. You just, you know right where he's at. The music is just moving throughout the shop. So we gotta get both these trucks out so Kibble can get his pickup in to work on the 790. Fire him up! So I'm gonna get little Pete out. He's gonna get the hammer out so Kibble can get right up nice and close with his uh, service truck, get the warranty work done. I wonder if he's still on hold. You wanna go? She barely fits. Are you still on hold? Well, I think I lost some when I went outside. <laughs> oh yeah, call failed. Yeah. Lost the booster juicer. Doesn't matter. Woo! Woo! What a thrill, risking our life. You go through there, I'll push. <laughs> Spray me down with some oil. Now don't, don't rub this, I just washed it. Watch out. Back to cleaning out the belly auger in this thing. So basically what we gotta do is that, this whole round tube here. This is really actually gonna be pretty easy. That's a worthless shot, that's nice. See who leaves the doors open around here? That one was me. <laughs> Just trying to make this a little easier for when the power washer gets to it. Clean off some of the bigger material here that rides on the track frames. So we're gonna pull it ahead and clean up underneath it before we start washing so we don't wash a bunch of crap and corn and stuff down the So we don't wash a bunch of crap and corn and stuff like this and like that down our floor drain. We're gonna remove the cardboard chunks, clean it up.
bath day for her. It's gonna look so nice, all cleaned up. Then we can get parked in the shed. Pretty excited. He's actually washing the inside out. We try to, or I should say in past years, we always try to wash the inside out just so that you don't get chaff or any buildup. It starts to rust the inside and corn don't slide like it should or soybeans wouldn't slide like it should. Plus it's just our maybe uh, perfectionism coming out inside. But it's what we like to do, so that's what we're gonna do. He's gonna wash the inside down and then we're gonna foam this whole thing. Let that sit for, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes or so and then we're gonna start washing it. We're new to the whole foam gun system and I'm not going to say what brand I'm using until I know or trust the brand. I'm not gonna put, put that out there until I know and trust it. Looking good! Inside of a cart's never looked so good. Right. That thing's massive. Is it because I'm in here? It's gonna take you all day just to do the, the inside. Well, I think it's perfect. Oh, come on now. Heads up. Look at that good stuff. He blew a bunch of corn to the front. I guess my job is to clean it out. Real nice. That is disgusting. At least it ain't rotten. Just wet, swelled up corn. Alright, I'm ready. Okay, we're going to foam the whole thing down here, let it sit for 10 minutes. It's not dry, but it ain't really wet. Well, and it's, it's supposed still to go covered dry. in mud in the back. Yeah, I really don't know if you're supposed to rinse and then wash. You're told to put it on dry, but we are washing the inside and all the outside's a little damp, but that's your fault, not mine. We're gonna try on number three to start. Firing. Better box. I think it's getting brighter in here. <laughs> yeah, we should start picking. Oh! We should start picking. Oh! Oh, well, we're broke. Now you broke it. What a cheap little outfit. <laughs> <laughs> it's for quick catching. No, it's too quick. <laughs> Listen to that. Foam droplets hitting the ground. Hold on a second. I'm gonna put this right next to the Kibble logo and you're gonna blast right over it. Okay, ready? Make sure you look good when you do it. <laughs> I'm gonna have to wash this quick to hit every spot at 10 minutes. Here we go. Hammer. that it's truly waterproof. This side's almost dripped off. You better get washing. You got minutes. We should only foam one side. So, when foaming, I was told, you foam it, then you start at the bottom and you work up, and then you rinse from the top down. Backwards is how I thought you were supposed to wash, but whatever.
Okay, we made it all the way around the cart. He's working on that other track. We got, still got to do kind of the undercarriage or underneath it a little bit more up on this pitch here. But then we need to fold that down so we can reach the auger. We can't reach there and the shop is so full of other equipment that we can't get the little nice man cart back here to make this nice and easy. That's why we're using a ladder. Can't say. Fold. Double top it and away she goes. Boom. Now we pivot it down. Looks good. So we just got done with dinner. She's starting to dry off. Eric got her all cleaned up. I gotta soak the water out of these wheels, which this is one thing that I that I miss about something that I don't like about this green cart, which is really as minor as just being too fussy, but it's got this lip along the edge of this rim. So like trash, mud, dirt, water gets stuck in here. When the trash gets in there, after one season, these are already right in this area. It's already the paint starting to get dull and eventually the trash that rides in here all day long or until you clean it out will eventually rub all the paint off of the flat part of these wheels. So that's a little bit me being fussy, I guess. Not that big of a deal at all. But she cleaned up pretty good, didn't she? So what I'm currently doing is filling the auto greaser with grease. So basically you put a tube of grease in here. I've already, it was ran down pretty low, um, but I've already got two tubes of grease in there. You put your tube of grease in here just like it's a grease gun. You put this on there, and then you just push on this. It takes a little bit. It's kind of hard. Just push this rod in and it fills up that little reservoir. Just like that, whole tube of grease is in there. It's pretty full. It probably could take one more, but we're gonna call it good because this was the last of this old grease that we've been um, using and we're actually gonna be switching to a different brand of grease. So I don't really wanna mix it up all yet. Anyways, that's the plan on that. I just wanted to pump the last few of those into this thing that were left in the shop. fun so i think i got this thing done ready to go to the cold storage shed i think it's dried off enough to get it in there i don't know if i'm going to do that tonight or not it's greased oils are checked now what i would like to do is put ourselves a toolbox back here mount it on sometime probably not going to be anytime soon probably be later this winter or next summer toolbox there something for putting yankum rope in and just random stuff that we find in the field uh rig up a little bit better or more permanent way of having tile flags mounted on this beast but like i said right now the shop is so full i think we're just going to put this in cold storage and either later this winter or next summer we'll work on the beast a little bit <laughs>
Well, thanks for watching today, guys. We appreciate it. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you're notified when we post more videos. Look at all the stuff that needs to be cleaned yet. Look at that thing. Wow. Trucks are all clean, though. See you guys next time.